welcome to another episode of PsyConnect. I am Teacher CJ, your science teacher for today. Are you now ready to learn? Let us start! In this grade 7 science video lesson, we will talk about the effect of changes in abiotic factors on the ecosystem. The learning competency is predict the effect of changes in abiotic factors on the ecosystem. The learning objectives are the following. First, identify the effect of changes and the abiotic factors on the ecosystem. Second, evaluate the effect of changes in the abiotic factors on the ecosystem. And third, name ways to protect the abiotic factors on the ecosystem. Try this. Let us start by answering this 5 item quiz. Choose the letter of the best answer and write your answers on your notebook. Number 1. What is the main source of light energy in almost all ecosystems? A. Earth B. Stars C. Moon D. Sun The following are effects when abiotic factors changes on the ecosystem exact. A. Air pollution B. Water pollution C. Toxic chemicals D. Death to living organisms Number 3. What do you call the introduction of materials into the atmosphere which produces adverse effects, especially to humans and their daily activities? A. Air pollution B. Soil pollution C. Water pollution D. Thermal pollution. 4. Increasing population, vehicles, and the growing number of factories and establishments are the main contributing factors of black. A. Erosion. B. Extinction. C. Pollution. D. Population. Number 5. What is the result when there is overproduction of nitrates, phosphates, and potassium in the soil? A. The soil becomes dry. B. The soil becomes fertile. C. The soil becomes acidic. D. The soil becomes humus. Word Bank Here are some of the words or terms that are used in this video lesson. Biotic factor, the living components of an ecosystem. Abiotic factor, the non-living components of an ecosystem. Do this first activity. Put letter A if the following components of an ecosystem is abiotic and letter B if it is biotic. Write your answer in your science activity notebook. Let us start. 1. Rain 2. Grasses 3. Alcohol 4. Oxygen 5. Sunlight 6. Mass 7. Soil 8. Bird 9. Face shield 10. Stones Explore Perform this next activity entitled, Let Me Know. From the pictures in Figure 1, write at least Five observations in your science activity notebook. Number one is already done for you. 
Here is figure number 1, Conditions of the Ecosystem. Please pause the video if you need more time in observing. Here is the sample observation. Smoke is coming out of the chimneys of a factory. Please write your answers in your science activity notebook. Answer these guide questions. 1. What are some of the abiotic factors depicted in the pictures? 2. How do these abiotic factors affect the environment or the ecosystem? Keep this in mind. Here are some of the effects of the changes in the abiotic factors of an ecosystem. First, air pollution. Air is an invisible mixture of gases such as nitrogen and oxygen that surrounds the earth. Without air, plants, animals, and humans will not survive. However, as time goes by, the quality of air changes due to the increasing population, vehicles, growing number of factories and establishments, continuous burning of plastics, and other garbage resulting to pollution. Air pollution is the introduction of materials into the atmosphere that produces adverse effects, especially to humans and their daily activities. Second, Soil pollution Human activity is the number one contributing factor, like throwing and burning plastics containing garbage, pollute the soil by making it acidic. The soil and the plastics contain compounds like nitrates, phosphates, and potassium. When there is overproduction of these compounds, the soil becomes acidic. Also, burning of woods and grasses loses the organic material or the topsoil, making the soil dry and not suitable for planting. Extreme Atmospheric Heat Humans have become the biggest source of change. The act of cutting down or burning of trees or deforestation, dumping of waste materials anywhere, using plastic products over reusable materials, and overpopulation are practices of man which causes an extreme atmospheric heat. Fourth, death to living organisms. An increase or decrease of the temperature has an impact on organisms living on Earth. Despite having adaptive abilities to suit with the kind of ecosystems organisms are dwelling, a change of temperature limits reproduction and survival rate. Therefore, organisms must cope up with the change in temperature in order to survive. Fifth, water pollution. Water is essential to life on Earth. However, when the quality and quantity changes due to natural and man-made disturbances, Greater problems have been produced such as 1. Diseases from infectious organisms carried by the water like cholera, dysentery, and amoebiasis. 2. Growth of plankton, or small plant in animal life in bodies of water like seas and lakes, resulting to less dissolved oxygen, which may threaten the water organisms. And 3. Toxic chemicals are carried by the water making it harmful for both biotic and abiotic organisms in the water. Let us now apply what you have learned by answering the next activity. Pick Connect. Connect pictures from set A to the pictures in set B. Predict the possible effects to organisms living in this kind of ecosystem. Write your answer in your science activity notebook. Please pause the video if you need more time in answering. Congratulations on finishing the previous activities. Let us now reflect on our learnings by completing the following sentence prompts. I have learned that I wish to ask my teacher about 
Reinforce your learning by answering this last activity. Directions In your science activity notebook, write three simple ways you can do to reduce the effects of air, soil, sunlight, temperature, and water as it changes on the ecosystem. Refer to the pictures below. Now, let us assess what you have learned by answering this 5-item quiz. Choose the letter of the best answer and write your answers on your notebook. Let us start. 1. The following are effects when abiotic factors changes on the ecosystem except A. Air pollution B. Water pollution C. Toxic chemicals D. Death to living organisms 2. Increasing population, vehicles, and the growing number of factories and establishments are the main contributing factors of lack. A. Erosion B. Extinction C. Pollution D. Population 3. What is the result when there is overproduction of nitrates, phosphates, and potassium in the soil? A. The soil becomes dry B. The soil becomes fertile C. The soil becomes acidic D. The soil becomes humus 4. What is the main source of light energy in almost all ecosystems? A. Earth B. Stars C. Moon D. Sun 5. What do you call the introduction of materials into the atmosphere which produces adverse effects, especially to humans and their daily activities? A. Air pollution B. Soil pollution C. Water pollution D. Thermal pollution Here are the references. Grade 7, ADM Module 7, 1st Edition, 2020. Grade 7, Science, DLP. Congratulations, learners, for finishing the video lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning with me today. Remember, learning is fun with SciConnect.